Alright, I've got our engine turned upside down here so we can see the exhaust port. This is a freeze plug that you can often find at ad, um, advanced auto stores or other auto parts stores like that. I actually turned this in a lathe and sanded some of the rubber down. It sounds kind of bad, but uh, it's, it works great and it serves the purpose. Before you install this, you want to make sure it's really clean though, because it is uh, the engine's upside down. You don't want anything falling in there. Alright, we're going to head and install our expansion plug or freeze plug in there. And we're going to tighten it down. This is causing the plug to expand and contact the inside diameter of our exhaust port. It's pretty snug and airtight. To get started with our pressure test, we're going to make sure that the piston is at bottom dead center. To do this, you simply remove the spark plug and you look down inside of the cylinder. You can use a flashlight or whatever and make sure that the, the transfer ports and the exhaust ports, they're all open. Another thing you can do is go ahead and do that before you put your expansion plug in the exhaust port. You can see the piston from there anyway, so you may as well rotate the engine around and make sure that the uh, exhaust port is completely uncovered. Then, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our inlet manifold adapter. All these other pieces of the pressure tester, by the way, can be found at Lowe's or Home Depot or any hardware store. Um, but we'll go ahead and we'll put our inlet manifold adapter into the inlet manifold. And then we're going to be pumping up our pressure bulb here. Alright. We'll pump that up to about 6 PSI. You can see on there. Maybe, maybe not. It's right at 6 PSI. Um, Another tip from Rick over at MacDizzy, great website by the way, I recommend that you visit it. It's a paid prescription website, but it's well worth it for all kinds of two-stroke tuning information. Of course, ScooterInvasion.net, our own website, focuses uh, pretty strongly on the scooters and we want to keep you there too. Anyway, we're going to let this sit for about five or six minutes and make sure that it holds that pressure. All right. Six minutes later, we're still looking good at 6 PSI and it's kind of hard to see on this gauge. As I said before, you normally want a gauge that uh, one of the ATV tire pressure gauges, those would work excellent for this. Um, but we're still looking good. So that concludes our pressure test and our engine build. We're ready to go. We're going to let the air out of our pressure tester there and pop that out. We'll go ahead and get the uh, freeze plug out of the exhaust. Uh, for more scooter tuning and repair information, please be sure to check out our website, scooterinvasion.net. And uh, if you have any questions uh, concerning the video, feel free to email me. Josh at ScooterInvasion.net is my email address. One last note on pressure testing. If you do have a pressure leak, one thing that you can do is you can test the pressure tester itself simply by plugging the end of your manifold adapter and pumping your tester up and verifying that you you know that the tester is working fine and the tester itself doesn't have a leak. Uh, this could be caused at any of the joints where the, uh, where the tubing connects to a connector or the manifold. Uh, you want to make sure you use plenty of thread tape uh, in there to seal it. Also though, if you, if you check it out, your manifold, I'm sorry, your, uh, your pressure tester is working fine. One other thing that you want to do is you want to double check your engine. You want to check for air leaks and you can do this by using a little bit of soapy water and pressurize the engine and you'll see bubbles coming forever from wherever the leak is. You can test around the inlet manifold. You can test around the block that where the uh, two halves seat together, the head gasket, the base gasket, and then you can also check on the crank seals on either side. Of course that requires tearing these parts of the engine back down, but it's better to know beforehand than afterwards.